What is going on guys, it's Paul and Wanted today, we are back with another Infinite Warfare multiplayer gameplay. Uh, on top of that, I'm going to be discussing all of the lethal and uh, equipment in Infinite Warfare. Um, so this is going to be a really informative video and kind of give you an idea of what you're going to have um, available to you when you get the game in November or play the beta in October, which is super exciting. But unfortunately, I can't actually show you any like menu screens of what these actually look like or anything. It really sucks, I wish I could, I, I literally have it in front of me I could I could show you but I just I'm not allowed to uh, so instead I have to tell you what they are and read off the description so better than nothing so if you guys enjoy this and it provides some kind of information um, and enjoy the gameplay in the background as well um, but yeah before we go any further I'm gonna say a couple things first off thank you to Activision for sending me out to COD XP really it means the world it was very very nice of them to give me this opportunity to come out to get gameplay early for you guys uh, to show here on YouTube so big thanks to Activision on top of that if you're new to Carnage Clan, make sure to hit the subscribe button and stick around for more content. It'd be awesome to see you guys stick around, if, especially if obviously you're new, uh, to see more Infinite Warfare gameplay and to see uh, the progression into Infinite Warfare and also the content that's going to be coming out until then. It's going to be awesome. So stick, look around for that. Stick around. Don't leave. Subscribe. Also drop an early like. That would be greatly appreciated. And let's go ahead and get right into it with the lethals. The first lethal that we have is the Cluster Grenade, a cookable grenade that explodes in a series of smaller blasts. So not just your regular average Joe uh, hand grenade. Very interesting. The next one we have is a plasma grenade. A sticky grenade that sprays burning plasma in all directions. So once again, it's not just your plain old Semtex. So both the regular hand grenade and your Semtex have completely changed now. Very, very interesting. And these weapon, these, uh, these, both of these lethals are very good. Honestly, probably better than just regular Semtex and hand grenade. Next up, we have a seeker grenade. Autonomous, sticky device that seeks out nearby enemies and explodes. So this is really, really a very very good weapon uh, to use a good lethal weapon uh, so we'll probably try that out it's pretty cool then we have the trip mine we have the exploding drone which is launched aerial drone that explodes on impact or remotely with R pressing the R1 on your PS4 controller or by double tapping the uh, circle I believe then next up we have a flechette grenade I believe flechette I don't know how to pronounce that it splits into multiple propelled grenades on impact so it's kind of like a very very effective hand grenade then we have the black hole projector it creates a singularity that pulls in enemies with crushing force so you kind of throw it and it creates this like black hole like weird looking thing and if you get too close to it as an enemy it sucks you in and kills you then we have a bio spike which is a thrown ballistic knife that explodes on enemy impact can be recovered after use so kind of like a tomahawk next up we have the c4 which is awesome to see a return um you know it's a high explosive that sticks to surface and can be detonated ro remotely by clicking R1 or by double tapping square. So that's back. That's pretty cool. Kind of looks like the Elgato. Like if I could show you the picture, the C4 literally looks like, like an Elgato with like a little antenna. It's kind of funny. Um, moving on to the tacticals, which there are a, a decent amount. There's six different tacticals. First off, we have the personal radar, which is like the portable radar from Modern Warfare 3. That's returned. It's awesome to see how much like they've returned from um, Modern Warfare 3. I it just, I'm happy about that. Then we have the jammer grenade, which is uh, jams enemy mini map movement and aiming systems effective against equipment. Next up, we have the Dome Shield, which is a deploy deployable electromagnetic dome that blocks projectiles. Then we have the Cryo Mine, which is a magnetic mine that releases a cloud hindering movement systems. This has been used against me. It was actually very, very difficult. Like, once someone used this on me, I was I was basically crippled. I couldn't do anything. Next up, we have a Smoke Grenade, which is standard. Uh, and then finally, we have the Blackout Grenade, which is a st it stuns enemies, causing vision and hearing loss. So it's kind of like a combination of Flash and and stun grenade a blackout grenade which is really kind of cool how they kind of combine them so that's it for our equipment in infinite warfare hopefully you enjoyed today's video once again i wish i could have shown you the actual images but it doesn't matter too much now you just have an idea of what the abilities are with your equipment in this game i'm super excited i think there's some really cool equipment to use in this uh, weapon uh, this game and a lot of different unique ones that, that we haven't seen before um so that's super exciting so anyways guys hope you're having a fantastic day and i'll talk to you later